Now you don't need to fill at this as such. You know, it's not the same as a normal bony fish, so you haven't got rib cage and everything here. You've literally just got spine. It's a cartilage spine that runs full length down there. Okay, now if I take the tail off, I'm going to sit down for this. So, starting at the bottom here, see this central line here? We're just going to cut down there. Take your time nice and easy because at the end of the day you want to have a nice good looking fillet. You don't want to have some butchered monstrosity that anybody can do with an axe or a chainsaw. You know, you want the minimum amount of waste out of it. So you can see the cartridge there, so I'm just gonna literally tease down the side of it. It's a bit like unzipping something really. You don't need a lot of pressure. If you put too much pressure, you're just going to leave loads of meat on the bone. Okay. And potentially leave bits of bits of the spine in the meat itself. So there you go, just nice and gentle, nice and easy. So we're going to carry on up through the belly cavity, as was. Of course it's not cavity now, which is a massive great gap. Okay. So you can feel it here. See the actual spine runs along here on the surface. So I'm going to Over. There we go. I'm going to carry on with my unzipping. So the blade is slightly angled do this. Okay. Still going nice and gentle. You may want to resharpen your knife okay, from time to time. A nice flexible knife is what you want. This is one of those ones for cutting Spanish hams. It's just such an enjoyable knife to use for pretty much anything in the kitchen. So I tend to default to that now. Okay, so now we're past the middle of it, so we've got to take care not to not to come out wrong. So we're going to change the angle now, cut in around the back of that spinal column. Okay. So the spine actually kind of guides you when you're cutting, you know, the angle of it. So there you go, now that's a lovely, lovely job there. You can see that. So there's no meat really left on that spine. I'm going to do the other side as well, just because. So I'm going to basically do a butterfly filling, which I don't normally do. But that will give you a better idea and probably make for a better film. Also gives you a larger piece of fish to deal with. Just trying to make them there is a bit more tricky.
going to turn the knife now because it sort of widens out a little bit there. Carry on just taking your time. It's tempting to just stick the knife under and pull it along, but you'll waste a bit of meat if you do that. So let's just continue slowly unzipping it until we're right at the edge. And then holding it up so that you've got that little bit of gravity on, just keeping it close. That's going to drop as you cut. Okay? Go the other way. Just light strokes, gentle strokes, slow strokes. Keeping my arteries out of the way. And cut that bit off because there's a bit of bone here or cartilage there still from pectoral fins. And that is my spine. Minimum wastage. Okay? It's nice, it's pretty clean of me. Still a bit from when I gutted it in there. Okay, we're now just going to clean up, tidy up. This fillet. Okay. Make it look nice. There's some white there's a white line here. Okay. That's not cartilage. That's just soft stuff. Okay, but we can take that out if we want. It's kind of like a tendon. There's no point because that'll disappear when you cook it. Okay. So that is our butterfly fillet, it's smooth out. Okay, nice and neat, nice and tidy, no waste. Okay, we've taken out cartilage from the fins. Okay, there's a little bit down the middle there. That'll dissolve when you cook them anyway. A little bit there, that's all gone. Tiny bit. And that is how you prepare a smooth hound for the table. <laughs>